Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays and a little bit more of a serious video for Rising Storm Vietnam. I almost forgot the name of it then. Now I wanted to do this video because <clears throat> I noticed in some of the comments on uh, the video I uploaded yesterday and some of the previous Vietnam videos, people are saying it's run and gun, it's run and gun. And it's a real difficult one to answer this because we love squad. We love squad, so if we're coming at, at this on a slightly different angle from being a squad player. The game, do you know what, Vietnam is, is such a difficult game to put in any particular box. Sometimes, sometimes, you can have a fantastic, fantastic game and you get lots of kills. Other games, this game is going to frustrate you more than any other game you've ever played in your life. And you'll say it's crap and you won't want to play it again and then something happens in your head and you want to come back and play it again the whole vibe of Vietnam and the helicopters and some of the weapons is very very cool run and gun I mean the maps the maps are not as big as squad it is the graphics are beautiful in their own way again it's hard to describe that it's not sometimes you look at some of the forest maps and you think it looks beautiful and other times you look at it and you think god it's garbage it, it really is a mishmash and i know it's beta it is buggy and we know you know they know everybody knows that ain't gonna change on release we'll patch it afterwards still a v. that is what it is that's game development these days but i'm gonna show you on a couple of clips now the first clip is all right the second one is i think how if you are getting frustrated, you need to play this game. Play it as... Try and play it as realistically as possible. Imagine you've only got one life, cover to cover, very slow maneuvering, moving forward, should I say, and stick with your squad mates. I think that's the only real way, if you're having a hard time and you're struggling with this game, that is the way that you're going to get the most out of this game. Otherwise, you're in Hell City. And you'll see what I mean if you get into the beta. Very difficult. Also, if you are thinking of buying the game, don't get it on Steam. Get it on Kingwin. You can get it for a tenner. And if you use the little link I've put down there in the description, you can get an extra 5% off. Thanks to Uncle Para. Yeah. But, it's a difficult one. I don't know whether to do much more coverage on this game. It's probably everybody's seen every video out there now under the sun and they probably want to know what I think of it. I think for uh, for 10 quid or 12 quid, it's a, it's a, get it, it's worth it for 12 quid. It's fun seeing the helicopters come around dropping napalm and uh, there are glimpses, glimpses of a diamond in the rough here. It's just that the diamond at the minute is, is very, very rough. And longevity does worry me a little bit, but for a tenner, come on. You can jump in, have a play of this. You can play it run and gun if you want to. You're not going to last that long. If you play it slow and a little bit more tactical, you're probably going to get a lot more enjoyment out of this game. So, here we go. I'm going to show you how I play it a little bit slower and you get a completely different vibe to that first video, which was just me having a bit of fun. So, let me know what you think of this. Thumbs up, subscribe, and a big, big thank you. As I've actually got over 3,000 subscribers, which is a massive amount of subscribers for me. It's taken a long, long, can't even do it, long time to get here. So I do appreciate it. And no, I haven't forgotten my ASO fans. More ASO videos coming real soon. Of course, some more sexy squad videos coming. Son of a lot. I'll see you in another video coming real soon. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and thumbs up and all that rubbish. I mean, please. Bye bye. That'll do, lad. More Yorkshire tea. Mr. Charles. We have taken Charlie.
Bravo. 